welcome to the exclusive premiere of Wonder Woman 1984. I'm Tiffany Smith and I am so excited to be here. By now, you know that you can see Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters internationally beginning December 16th and in the US in theaters and on HBO Max on December 25th. And as a super fan, I am for sure counting down the days. But no matter where you are, whether you're at home on your couch or right here with me, super fans everywhere will recognize that we are coming to you straight from the incredible Hall of Heroes stage in the DC fandom for this exclusive event celebrating the most anticipated film of the holiday season. And in a year like this one, we're all more than ready for something truly wonderful. And yes, I totally made a wonder pun. I will do my best not to do too many of those, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> Whether you are joining us from wherever you are in the world, including if you're right here with me on our huge fan screens. How cool is that? Hi guys. Hi. Sit back and get comfy because we've got your all access pass to the Wonder Woman 1984 red carpet. While you guys are watching with us, share your excitement using the hashtag WW84 as well as stickers on Instagram, post your cosplay or your red carpet glam looks. I know you dressed up for this. And follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Wonder Woman Film. And one last thing you should know, you can go to the official movie website, wonderwoman1984.com for advanced tickets, info on private screenings, to sign up for HBO Max in the US, and a lot more. In just a few minutes, director Patty Jenkins, Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot, and her awesome castmates, Chris Pine, Kristen Wiig, and Pedro Pascal will all be here showing off their glamorous red carpet looks and talking with all of us about the film. I honestly cannot wait. But first, how would you guys all feel about seeing an exclusive behind the scenes sneak peek at the film? Yeah, that sounds good. All right, well, we have got you covered with this wonder, mm -mm, awesome clip. Check it out. I got this. What? Wonder Woman is one of the biggest superheroes in history. So what an incredible opportunity to make a massive, visually spectacular movie. One day, you will become all that you dream of and more, and everything will be different. The challenge was to bring something fresher, more complex, more thrilling, and make it bigger. She's super badass, and the action's gonna be incredibly epic. It's a joy ride of dreams. Wonder Woman is a warrior. She's a goddess. She's a hero for everyone. Amazing, the Amazons, the action, the lasso, the lasso harnessing freaking lightning. There is so much that I could talk about, but I think I have kept you all waiting long enough and it's time we welcome some very special guests. Get your screenshot and fingers ready guys and please welcome Wonder Woman 1984 director, writer, producer, Patty Jenkins. Woo! <laughs> So we've got all the fans over here. Mwah! We love you guys. We're so happy to finally share with you. This has been such a crazy journey for everybody in this world, obviously. But you guys have been the best fans in the world. So patient. Well, I have to say our red carpet premiere wouldn't be complete without the amazing cast from Wonder Woman 1984 who are joining us virtually right now. So please give a warm welcome to Chris Pine, Kristen Wiig, and Pedro Pascal. <laughs> Amazing. All right, well, before we get into all the questions that I've got and the fans have got, it is time for our very own Wonder Woman joining us inside the Hall of Heroes on the red carpet. Please welcome Gal Gadot. <laughs> Oh my God, everyone looks so pretty. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of you for showing up and for the love and for your support. You're the best, best fans in the world. 
Thank you. I was going to so say, obviously, it would not be a premiere without all of the fans over totally. here. So we've got them all here with us for our whole red carpet premiere. They've got questions for you. I'm so excited. I've got questions for you, too. Before I get to the fans, actually, though, like you said, Gal, everyone looks amazing. How does it feel for all of you guys, too, coming and getting ready, getting glammed up, getting on your cameras, your laptops, wherever you are? to celebrate this premiere with us here and with all the fans. We wish we could see you guys in person, but it is really, um, it means a lot to us that you guys showed up and that we can have this one-on-one -on -one and we can see your faces. And um, we're just really excited that you're here. It means a lot. This is what it's all about, whether it's virtual or in person, you know, we don't make um, these films in a vacuum and it's all always and has always been about you, the fans. It's always about the love and your interest dedication and your passion. All right, well, I know the fans have been waiting and they have got a ton of questions for you guys. So let's throw it over to our fans. All right. Who has a question? I think our first one is coming from Danny. My question is, um, Wonder Woman 1984 is one of the most anticipated films of 2020. How does it feel to finally be able to share that with the world? Thank you, oh. Danny. Thank you for that. And by the way, that golden armor is amazing. It's true, it's true. Really <laughs> <is. laughs> it is. It feels amazing. We've been waiting to share this movie with you guys for such a long time. And actually now it feels very surreal because I feel like we've been waiting for such a long time that now when we're starting to get all the feedback, I'm just like, I'm shocked. I'm like, is this for real? Is this really coming out? Is this, is now really the time? And it is, and it feels amazing, and it's such a huge relief to know and to hear that you guys are responding so well and so we lovingly. We love you so much. <laughs> we love you. All right, let's take another question from the fans. Jaden, are you ready? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. This one. G'day, I'm from Australia by the way, and I'm so happy to be here. Patty, this one is for you. Uh, yeah. what, sh what shot or scene are you particularly proud of uh, to film during the production of Wonder Woman 1984? You know what, Th on this movie, it's impossible to isolate. There were so, I think it's because there were so many difficult things. It was the most difficult movie to make. And it's funny because we were so happy and, and laughing the whole time, but it was the most complex film I can imagine ever making. So there were a number of things that were like threading a needle and sending gals flying through the air on wires and executing the cheetah fight. So I'm just proud of the whole film. Thanks for that question though. Awesome. All right, our next fan, Tanya. Go. <laughs> Did you ever have an idol growing up um, like you are for many girls today? The only person that I really adored and admired was Madonna growing up. And she was like the epiphany of, you know, femininity and owning it and not being apologetic and just like being proud of, you know, being a woman and have full confidence with it. Yeah, so I guess Madonna would be that one. All right, let's take another question from the fans. Kenny, are you ready for your, yeah? Hi, Kenny! Hey, with your holiday <laughs> hat on. See <laughs> you guys again. Uh, my question is, uh, how good, how does it feel to see yourself as an action figure on a toy shelf or at a convention? How does it feel? It's really weird. What I do like is I'm much more muscular as an action figure. <laughs> I'm gonna to talk to them about maybe adding a tattoo or a scar. <laughs> or a mustache. You know, yeah, mustache, get real tough. <laughs> uh, I vote for fanny pack. It's really, really fun. Awesome, all right, so we have another question. Emily, you have a question for Kristen? Yes. Wow, what? Kristen, do you see wow. this? Oh my God, you're so good. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Oh my God, I'm gonna stop crying first off. Um, I am shaking so bad, so bear with me. Um, you are my idol. I admire you in every sense of the word, um, but I am so excited to see you in this film. Um, throughout Barbara's transformation throughout the film, what was your favorite part of that experience? You know, she goes through a few transitions. I think probably, that that first transition of hers, I mean, I, I always love in these kind of movies when people, when you see them sort of like discovering their their powers. 
Um, so I really liked just that first initial coming out of her shy Barbara shell. You know, she's really like kind of nerdy and quiet. And then when she starts getting a little more, you know. Mm. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> that initial like breaking out was, was really fun. All right, we've got another question from Javier. This one's for Pedro. Yes, uh, Pedro. Hi, you play Maxwell Lord in this movie. He's one of the most uh, twisted characters in the DC comic universe. How was the experience of being the bad guy in this film? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the most unexpected um, thing about this movie for me was um, what an acting challenge it was. Um, Patty uh, put such incredible whole characters on the page and to be able to meet that challenge and to have uh, Patty as uh, as my guide and, um, and and to have a cast that was so welcoming and embracing, I got to be really bad. <laughs> I just want to say uh, thank you to all of you. I am a father, I have a little girl, uh, her name is Diana. Oh, wow. She's, oh, uh, yeah, she's almost three years old. And um, well, I, I think it's really important uh, Wonder Woman's character in these days, because I think as a father that inside every little wonderful girl, there is a future Wonder Woman. So I think it's really, really inspiring that you are making these movies for the future. So I just want to say thank you. You're really. so sweet. Thank you so much. That's so my girl. Aww. That's my girl. Aww. She's my girl. Aww. Aww. We've got time for one more fan question from Liz. How are you? Wonder Hi. Liz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Every single one of you, you inspire me so much. And this question is for Gal. That Kingdom Come Golden Armor, when you were for the first time, how did you feel like emotionally? You know, how did it make you feel? It blew my mind. I couldn't believe I'm gonna be so lucky to wear such a gorgeous piece. And the team really brought it to a place where it's super practical and you can move in it and do t so many things. But essentially when I watch the movie and I see how it looks like and with the wings and everything, it's so strong and original. And I get the shivers just like thinking about watching watching the movie that way. But it, it, it's great. It's, it's really, really great. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for all of your awesome questions, getting us started on such a love fest with everybody here. Um, I know there's so much more that we want to talk about, so much that we want to ask. And I have a question. So, Patty, I know that you said in the clip that we saw that Wonder Woman is a hero for everyone. So what yeah. does that mean for this movie? I think, it, you you know, Gal touched on it at the beginning and, and Chris did a great job of talking about the same point, which is, I think that Wonder, I love a lot of superheroes. Wonder Woman is so unique in the fact that she stands for love and for the betterment of mankind. And very few, you know, characters have ever had that opportunity where she's not here to beat bad guys. She's here to deal with whatever comes up in order to protect mankind and try to make them learn about their better selves. And so a superhero who, who's not here to just wow you with their physical feats, but to actually reach out and extend a hand of love and hope, I mean, it, that was exactly what went into our hard decision to say, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just try to get it to as many people as we can. And, and that's what she stands to to me. Yeah, I have to say it's, it, that is something that makes Wonder Woman so special is at the heart of everything at her core. It's heart and yeah. love, like you said. Yeah. Um, but you can't have a superhero film without the awesome action and epic stuff as well. And I know we got to see a little sneak peek of that in the clip that we saw earlier. Um, I don't even know where to start when you're talking about the action in this because it's epic. How Thank did it you. feel like seeing even the small <laughs> clips for people experiencing that? I mean, it was it was incredible to do. What I think what was what was the most incredible thing about it was that because we set out to do so much of it practically, you know, you came and visited. It's like we were doing things for real, and so actually seeing the Amazons and people running 30 feet up above you, jumping on poles, and now getting to see it in the film and having people feel that that scariness and the weight and the movement is is all worth it. Makes everything worth it. So hearing all of that about building up to that fight sequence. Kristen, what was it like for you when they're like, this is what we're gonna do? And you're like, all right, let's get into training. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, it was like a dream for me. I've always wanted to do something like this. And it was very intentional the way that that we fought and my character being a cheetah and how she would move and how she would fight. And it, it was really 
intense and we we trained and worked on all of these fights for the entire shoot of the movie plus maybe two months before and it was I mean I loved it I I I loved it so now that we heard how intense their training was Pedro and Chris what was your training regiment like to play Max Lord and Steve Trevor uh what I remember most about me and Pedro fighting was we're like, so in the other room, what is Gal doing? We're like, she's probably flying on walls and like breaking people. <laughs> so we're like, so what if you, what if you poke me in the eye? Yeah. And, you know, then I nipple close to you. And then yeah. <laughs> I tried to go, I think I remember trying to go full Three Stooges with Pedro. I don't know if anything ever works out. Um, yeah, uh, we were deciding we were, we were going to go full slapstick. I think I even, don't I, don't I, don't I bite you? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. So I remember that in training, and then I remember too uh, going out to Patagonia and buying a fanny pack. I bought an all-city <laughs> bicycle. And then I'd bike all around Washington, D.C. and then go to where Gal was doing incredible stunt work and then uh, go watch a film. <laughs> I had not a lot of stunt training happening. In the film. <laughs> to give you an idea of the kind of stunt training that I was doing, it was basically getting on the phone with Kristen and convincing her to tell her trainer that she didn't have to work out again so that she could <laughs> hang out with me. <laughs> This has been so much fun, but before we say goodbye, we have one more wonderful surprise guest who wants to say hello. The Wonder Woman who started it all, Linda Carter. Wowzers, look at awesome. You look amazing. You look amazing, Linda. Thank you. I'm just so, so happy to be here. And this little glam thing is my homage to Aww. Gal and Patty and this wonderful movie. And honestly, the release of this movie right now is the absolute perfect way to lead into Wonder Woman's 80th anniversary. Um, so Linda, do you have a favorite fan moment of your own throughout your whole Wonder Woman experience? I think it, 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 it still happens to me. And that is when someone refers to the spirit of the character to say that it uh, changed the way that they thought of themselves. So I don't think it's really about fan moments. I think it is more about the archetype of Wonder Woman, the heart, the soul, the spirit, the bones of, uh, of the complex spirit of Wonder Woman. Well, and I know we mentioned it a little bit earlier, but we're getting up to the 80th anniversary of Wonder Woman. What do you think it is about this character that makes her so timeless? Uh, that it is not about superpowers or uh, her feeling that she's all that. Uh, she believe as she believes and where it is normal to be as she is. We talked about it with Patty a little bit earlier, but specifically in this movie that Wonder Woman is a hero for everyone. What do you think it is about her that makes her so accessible to anyone and anyone, everyone of like every age, every sex? I think it's, I mean, she just, everyone is touched by her. Well, it's, it, it's her intellect. It is not the superpowers. It's her intellect. It's her spirit. It's her sense of humor as Gal has so brilliantly played that the, these moments are humanity as well as the rest of her, but it is that piece of her, that complex piece. Thank you for always being there for us. Like people don't know, but the three of us are always communicating and you're always so supportive and so so supporting and so you know, you're there for us and you're loving us and you're there to guide us when we need the guide. These words coming from you just means the world. Thank you for opening the gates to the Wonder Woman world for us to be able to do this together. Thank you for having me be a part of this celebration of your wonderful movie. I can't wait to share it with my family. Oh. 
Well, thank you so, so much, Linda. Linda, thank Bye, you so much. Thank you so much. Bye, Linda. Bye, Linda. Bye, Linda. Okay, so I thought right now was when Hans was supposed to join us. Where yeah, is he? Where is he? Hans. He's still finishing the score, I think. Oh my God, what? Should we just, you know Let's, what? We'll be back. Yeah, we'll, give us a we'll second. We'll be really quick. Oh. Okay, I'll just hang out here. What brings you here? We're in the middle of the premiere, and we oh, were wow. waiting for you. And I thought that you were going to be there, but are you still not done with the well, track? Well, it's just, it's just the last bit of the movie. Oh, it's Hans, just like, come you know, on. You the movie's the... about to come out, Hans. <laughs> Listen, well, I told you, you're barking up the wrong tree. You can't turn the old, beautiful theme into a whole new, uplifting theme. I it doesn't think make I sense. Can. We need it. We just needed a little bit of strings, a little bit of brass. And I promise you, the other thing we really, look, you're leaning on it. We need tempani. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Come let's on, everybody. It. Right. You All right. Just, you can I go. Have All right, can we go? Here we go.
Oh, welcome back, ladies. We did it as fast as we could. I gotta say, that Hans, sometimes he's a little slow, but boy, is he worth the wait. Oh, that was awesome. Whoa. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait for he's the best. to hear it. All right, well, you guys, sadly, it is nearing the end of our time in the Hall of Heroes. I have had such an amazing experience with all of you guys, with all of you guys here as well. Any final thoughts for our fans before I release you guys all to the press line? Just that we love you. We love you guys. Thank you so much, Chris, Kristen, and Pedro for joining us for the Wonder Woman 1984 Yay. premiere here inside the DC Yay. Fandom. Yay. Thank you. I miss you. Bye. Bye, guys. And on behalf of Warner Brothers and DC, thank you all to the fans for hanging out with us tonight and for hanging in there for the much anticipated release of Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> Before I go, I am gonna toss it over to Patty and Gal because I think they've got one more special surprise for you guys. Are you ready? Take it away, you wonderful <laughs> women. I had to throw in another pun. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tiffany. We cannot tell you how excited we are for you to see this film. We worked so hard on it, and you know, we thought about you guys every day, and it's been such a terrible and rough year for everybody, to say the least. Our biggest wish is that seeing this film helps to inspire some sort of hope and joy and strength in all of you. Finally, Wonder Woman 1984 debuts in theaters around the world starting tonight and in the U.S. in select theaters and on HBO Max on December 25th. And remember, if you do live in a cinema safe area, a lot of theaters are available to rent out for your own private party, your pod party, your family screening. Take just a friend, rent it for yourself. <laughs> so <laughs> check with your local theaters. And right now, we've got an early holiday gift for you guys. Here's the special look at the opening of the film. Enjoy and remember, we're thinking of all of you. We're stronger together. We love you and thanks for joining us. Thank Yay. you. <laughs> Your time will come, Diana. You will become all that you dream of and more. And everything will be different. I like those. An animal print. <laughs> <laughs>